Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be doing a review of the top free tweaks for this week is January 19th. Today is, so let's go ahead and dive right in. The first one you probably notice on my screen is this little red dot right here. And you can drag that anywhere you want it. That's called SP Touch. And what that does is it acts as a home button. You can double tap it to open your app switcher. Triple tap it to lock your device. I'm just in an awkward position. There we go. Alright, so you can go in here and change a few of these settings as well. You see you got uh, one tap is the home button, two taps is app switcher, three taps is locks the screen. And right here you can also hide the SP Touch if you want this to be hidden. I don't know how you could use it, but uh, you could set an activator, I guess, to bring it up. And you can change the size of it right here. You can make it larger or smaller. And you can also change the transparency. You can change the color of it. I have it red right now. If you wanted to change it to yellow, you could do that. Uh, you could change the size of the, of the screen. I'm sorry, not the size of the screen, but where it appears on the screen. I have it appearing on the left. You can change it to the right. Pretty awesome tweak, guys, to be free. So if we touch it right now, you see it takes us to the home screen. That's called SP Touch. Another button you probably see here is this little line right here power button emulator so it works pretty much the same way if we're inside settings all we have to do is just touch that and it'll automatically lock the device it does whatever this button up here at the top will do instead of pressing the lock screen to lock your device you can just press the little button right here and it will lock your device just like the, the uh, power button will. It does everything the same thing like the power button. Uh, another awesome, since we're on the topic of the power button, I have another one here. If you hold the power button down, you get all these different things. You can power slide the power off, slide to reboot, slide to respring, and cancel. That's an awesome, awesome tweak, guys. Very, very handy to have since we don't have SB settings right now. Repower, R-E-P-O-W-E-R. The next one is a Safari tweak, and all it does is simply just change the, the, the side of the screen that your X is on, okay? Normally, it was over here, the X was. Now, I've got it switched to where it's, it's on the right side. It just switches the side of, that the X is on. Instead of being on the left, it's now on the right. So that's called right X. Next, slide for usage. Okay. So let's close that out. And let's open our app switcher. Now, if we slide down, you see we get some writing right there. Normally, that wouldn't be there. And it says, last opened... 40 seconds ago used for 42 seconds and the total duration was 42 seconds let's see about this one this is the settings we used it one minute ago and we've used it for 14 minutes total duration six minutes and you you get the idea if you pull these down it shows when you last used them and how long you used them that's called slide for usage and it'll be listed on the screen for you pretty awesome little tweak the next one is called classic dock if you notice down here my dock looks a little different this is the way the iOS 6 dock looked uh, instead of having the iOS 7 style for the dock I, I chose the iOS 6 version it's called classic dock uh, I hope you can get a pretty good view of that um, next dynamic text if we go to the lock screen you see right here it says morning hello Mitch if we slide to unlock that now and go to settings and let's go to dynamic text right here you'll see that you can change it to be whatever you want it to be Right here you see I have Hello Mitch in there 
uh, if I were to just put in there I I don't know let's just type something easy test and just tap save now when we go back out and lock the device now when we unlock you'll see it says morning test and that morning will change to afternoon when the time gets right everything changes right it does it does have something different to say in the afternoon next is called I delete photos and this is handy to have if you, there's a photo on your device you want to get rid of if you notice right here you have some different photos and right here it says under events it says photos from Mac so these are photos that were synced up when I put a USB cable connected with my iDevice to my Mac and before I installed this tweak there was no way to delete these they were just on your device and the only way you get rid of them was just sync back up with your 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 Mac well now you have a little trash can down there and you can choose to delete photo and it'll remove it so now instead of six of six we have five of five so that's called I delete photos uh, next one is better grabber and what it does is it moves the grabber up just a little tiny bit up here at the top if you can see the grabber now it's sitting right against the top of the screen and you might think well that don't change nothing let me show you what it looked like before okay let's go in here I took a screenshot before I installed it so I could show you guys what it would look like all right, right here you'll see up here at the top, right there in the center. See how the uh, grabber is sort of dropped down from the top of the screen? Okay, now look at it on here. It's sort of sitting flush up there, right in the center, right here. That's called better grabber. All right, last but not least, guys, is one called Note Creator. This is definitely one of my favorites. If you set up an activator uh, for Note Creator, I got it set on triple press. And you see it brings up this little box. Now all you got to do to make your notes is just simply just start typing away. And you just test hello, hi. All right. One thing I want to point out, there's no return button in here right now, so it's it's impossible to make a, like a list, like your grocery list or whatever. But the developer has told me that that was going to be in the next update, which will be very soon in the next couple days. So keep that in mind. That will be fixed. And you see you just tap done. And now when you go in here to your notes, right up here at the top, test, hello, hi. That's one of your notes right there you see. Test, hello, hi is right there. That's the one that we were creating in Note Creator. And if you wanted to edit it or finish it up in the regular Notes app, that is possible. That's called Note Creator, and it works off of Activator. You have to set up an Activator. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please, as always, share these on Facebook and Twitter. It really helps show support from you guys when you do that, and we appreciate it so much. And we would also like to, to ask anybody out there that's not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We'll try our best to keep you informed the best of our ability. If there's something you think we should have included that we didn't, leave us in the comments. We may pick it up in the next one. Guys, please hit that subscribe button and keep coming back. Hope you enjoyed the content. You're going to see two boxes annotated on the screen right now. Click both those boxes before you leave today. Thanks for all your support, guys.